All right, let's head on out in our new Freightliner truck. This is fantastic, man. It's pretty basic, but it's brand new and it's ours. Well, actually, no, it's the bank's. <laughs> we only own a very small portion of this truck. Welcome back, everybody, to American Truck Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, this is episode two. Uh, I have not seen uh, comments from episode one yet because I'm re uh, episode one is currently I, I just finished uploading, and it's it's uh, being processed by YouTube. Excuse me, but I wanted to get a second episode out. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do, and pick up pretty much where we left off yesterday. Okay, so. We are in a situation now where we have the ability to take a loan from the bank. We can borrow up to $130,000. And here's the thing with this game, um, from what I understand, is we need we need our own truck to really start making the good bucks. Um, well, not even the good bucks, but just to start making more money. Um, so I think it behooves us to probably take out that loan and get to that truck going. All right, so um, we know of two truck dealers. We know of a Volvo dealer here in Vegas and a Freightliner dealer down in Cali. So let's take a look and see what um, each one of these dudes um, has to... Uh, wait a minute. Why... Why can't we see what they got for sale? What am I doing wrong here? We should be able to look even... Okay. Do, is it because we don't have the money? I thought I thought we could at least see what was for sale. Truck dealers. Oh, we have to click on this thing. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So let's look at buy online. All right. So we have a Volvo VNL 300 for 118245 This is a uh, 355 horse truck. And um, it says Eaton Ultra Shift FM 15 something or something or other. I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, is it a 10 speed? I'm not really sure. Um, an 150 gallon fuel tank. Okay, so so basically $118,000 and 355 horse. Now let's take a look at Freightliner. This is $117,000, and it has more horsepower. Yeah, okay, so this has more horsepower, and it's actually cheaper. Uh, but it's also got a little bit less, uh, a, a, a smaller tank, only 120 gallons. So I think it would make sense for us to, to purchase this. Okay, so we need $117,000. So what we could do with the bank is... If we took out the $100,000 loan, this isn't available to us yet. We have to we, we're going to have to make 100 uh, a $1,814 a day, which we should be able to do no problem. But we're going to we don't have enough cash on hand. We need basically we need $17,000 on hand if I don't want to take another loan on top of that. Cuz basically what I'd have to do right now is take this loan and then at least two more of these, which would then bring us up to, uh, we'd have to bring in about $2,500 a day just to pay the bank payment. Hmm. So we have two options here. We can do that now and start making more money. Or we could keep running the free contracts and build up our money until we get that extra 17000 that we need for that white Freightliner or Freightliner and maybe a little extra cash on top of that. And we're sitting at 5000 now. So basically we need to make another 12. Let's say, let's say we, we want a little extra money. Um, so let's say 15000 Okay, so to make another 15000 if we go to the job market... That means we're going to need, okay, we could do this one for 5000 Um, And it's about a four-hour trip. 
That would get us up to 9,000. I mean, if we did them sequentially. That would get us up to 12,000. I don't know. I, I, I'm just not familiar enough with this game to know what really makes the most sense. We're just go we're going to make so much more money with our own truck. Uh, I think I feel like we should do the loans. As much as I don't like to take loans, I think we should do the loans. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the hundred thousand loan here. Okay, um, and then we're gonna need to take. Yeah, we can't take the fifty, but we can take that one, and that gets us up to one fifty. We're gonna have to take one more. All right, that gets us up to one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. So, yeah, basically, we have to make a minimum of $2,538 a day just to make these payments on these loans. Look at the interest rate. Oh, my Lord. That's terrible. Woo. Okay. <clears throat> well, hopefully, we can repay these um, as soon as possible. But I think that was the right move. I hope that was the right move. All right. Very good. Let's go back to the dealers now. And um, we're going to go to Freightliner and... I guess if we buy this online, is it delivered to our garage? Or if we just go to the dealer and then we can start from Cali. Does that just take us there? Do you really want to travel to Oxnard and visit the freight letter? Yeah, let's just do it. Does that cost us any money? Oh, nope, we're here. Okay, we're here. Look at that truck. All right, awesome. Um. So, okay, so let's see. Customize configuration stock offers. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, okay. St oh, stock. Okay. I, I thought that meant like, you know, um, stock market kind of stock. <laughs> it's, to, it's basically saying this is what we have in stock. Look at that truck, man. Isn't that a beaut? Uh, how much does that sucker cost? $195,000. Yeah, okay. We can't afford that. Um, I think we should stay on the cheap for now, though. Uh, at least for bells and whistles types of things. Okay, so let's go to customize configuration. And uh, we can't do anything more with the cab or the chassis. We could upgrade to a 400 horse engine, but I'd have to take another loan uh, from the bank to do that. So does 30 more horse power make that much difference? Wait a minute. Oh no, that's only $300 more. No, we're good. Okay. Yeah. So we want that instead. Okay. Confirm. Okay. So that gets us up to a 400 horse engine, which isn't bad. Okay, and then what's uh, this is our transmission. We only have a 10 speed option right there, which is fine. Uh, I think I would prefer a gray interior over a brown interior, so that's good. And I really liked this. We were looking at this yesterday, I think. I like this Viper Blue. That's kind of, oh man, that's another 3900 bucks. Um, if we add this to the thing. That brings us up to, a, wait, what? Oh, okay. So it's only, it, we already get the $2,800. So it's really actually only adding another, it looks like $1,100 to that. Okay. So confirm that. And um, <clears throat> so that brings us up to $118,000. Okay. What is this? Accessories. Choose a pin on the truck to view available accessories. Standard plate. Horn adapter. Warning flag. Bumper. Standard bumper, standard with fog lights. Oversized load. That's just oh wow! Look at all the options. Oh, can we make the can we make the fuel tank larger? We already have the tank. We can change the rims. That's cool. And the tires.
That's not available to us. Okay. Well, again, I, I think we should stay economical here for now. This is interior stuff. Um, what does this do? Nothing. 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 Main mirrors. See, as we level up, we'll have more options for this kind of thing. Yeah, standard steering wheel, standard mirror. Uh, what's this? Cup holder. We already have a cup holder. Okay. Uh, what about this? Standard lights. Okay, yeah, we just, you know, we're such a low level that we just don't have that many options to change anything, which is probably a good thing anyways. Okay, so guys, I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, this is going to cost us $118,975, and we will still have a little bit of money left over for things like fuel and whatnot. Um, so let's confirm. And there's our truck. That's not a bad-looking first starter truck. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so did we... No, we haven't actually purchased it. Okay, here we go. Purchase. Thank you for buying your first truck from us. Please come again. Please note that all trucks bought here have regular insurance paid already. Oh, that's good to know. Okay. There we go. <laughs> all right, we got our first truck, you guys. Yeehaw! This is awesome. There she is. It's a very basic truck, but hey, it's a start, and it's ours. We're going to have to call this truck... We're going to name this truck Old Blue. Old Blue's our very first truck in this game. And it'll always hold a special place in our heart, even later on when we get something better. <laughs> uh, all right. Awesome. <clears throat> okay, we need to... Oh, man, I'm having that stupid tracking issue thing again going on here. Um, the head tracking thing. It, ca it was causing me some problems in Farming Simulator, too. Eye tracking. How do I disable that? I think we had to go to... Was it... Let's go to, back into game preferences for a second. Is there a way to turn off eye tracking here or head tracking? Fatigue simulation, traffic offense, preferred job length. Preferred job length. What does that mean? Does that mean time or it probably means time, right? Route advisor, speed limit, show truck limit, show car limit. Oh, right. No. Yeah, I know what that means. That's the speed limit that shows up in our GPS thingy. Speed warning, automatic parking dialog. Keep route advisor hidden. No, I don't think I want that right now. Map alignment is north locked. Navigation parking difficulty, always select. Yeah, we want to keep that on. Random road events, detours, rain probability, time zones are disabled, show cutscenes, show blockers, disabled with caution. I don't even know what that means. Invert mouse, no. Transmission type is sequential. That's the smart sequential shifting thing I was talking about. It looks like stability and all that is turned all the way up. We might... Yeah, let's just leave that stuff on while I'm still a noob here. Advanced trailer coupling. What does that mean? Does that mean we actually have to get out to do it? Because I'd like that. That's very much more realistic. I'm not exactly sure what that means, though. I wish that it came up with a little tip and told you what all this actually means. Uh, but it doesn't. Trailer cables. Player trailers. Tra okay, what does this mean? None. First player trailer Player trailers and first traffic trailers. Player and all traffic trailers. So does this mean I do have to get out and do the cables? Because I if I want to, for sure. Rain sensor, automatic retarder, automatic engine brake. I don't want automatic anything. I want to 
do this all realistically. Automatic engine and electricity start? No. Automatic parking brake engage? No. Automatic drop of liftable axles? No. Air brake simulation? Yeah, let's get let's turn that on. Realistic fuel consumption? Sure. I hope I don't regret that. Cruise control grid step. Yeah, let's keep that on five miles an hour. Smart cruise control tolerance. Automatic blinker turn off. Yes. Cabin accessories physics. Sure. Steering camera rotation. What does that mean exactly? I don't know. Blinker camera rotation. Physical camera movement factor. Interior camera horizon locking factor. Length. Okay, this is all set to American stuff. Show secondary names and map. I don't know what that means. Chat. Convoy settings. Quick replies. Okay, so yeah, I don't see anything in here that says disable head tracking. Now, there is there is a, a hotkey that we can use to disable it, which I keep having to do, but I don't even have that software installed anymore, but it's like the game is still stuck in head tracking mode reset head tracking enable head tracking f9 so f9 sh should toggle that f12 resets f9 toggles okay so if i hit f9 what happens oh there we go Okay, well, at least we can disable it with F9. Interesting. Okay, so, hey, guys, welcome to our new truck, man. Look at this thing. This is fantastic. Let's start it up. Did we start it? Oh, I guess we turned the accessory on first. It's very basic. <laughs> we don't have a built-in GPS on the dash, but I'll bet you, you know, that sort of thing will become available to us as we level up all right what do we got going on here so that's i'm looking at the the actual dash where the speedometer and stuff is for if you guys don't know what i'm doing so that's speed that's oil i like to see the this cruise control on display on here i don't see it on there though Unless it shows up some other in some other place. Hours on the engine, that's the trip meter. Alright, well let's keep it on miles per hour then I suppose. Oh, I love it. I love it! Okay, so what happens if we uh, drive into the garage here and hit this little green thing. Use the following key to stop the engine. No, uh, right, okay, whatever. This is our girl. Oh, okay, so it opens the door. Now, does anything happen when we hit this? Press the following key to manage this garage. Oh, okay, so this is our garage manager. It's a tiny garage. We can only put one truck in it. Daily profit. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's an average of how much we've... Yeah, okay. How much we've made so far. Economy summary. Okay, so I think this means how much is... A, uh, the trucks that are um, based out of this garage, how much money they're making. I think that's what that means. We would need, you don't have enough money to upgrade your garage. Minimum of 180. Woo! Okay, yeah, we won't be upgrading this anytime soon. Lord almighty, that's expensive. At least it certainly seems to be expensive to us now. Very good. All right, you guys. Uh, we are back. Oh, we got mail. You got mail. Let's take a look and see what that has to say. Um, This one. To whom it may concern, we are looking for skilled drivers with their own trucks for a large number of deliveries. We offer competitive rates up to $7,400 for a job. Please, if you have your own vehicle, inquire directly at our dock in Las Vegas. Voltason. Okay, so does this mean we sign a contract and do multiple jobs for them? 
7400 bucks a job. All right, well, let's keep that in mind, but let's go to the job market. See, now this opens up freight market for us. Wait a minute. Go back there for a second. And it also opens up external contracts. Complete World of Trucks delivery contracts using your own equipment. A record of these deliveries is stored to your World of Trucks profile. Now, I'm not exactly sure what World of Trucks is, but I think it's like, um, excuse me, I think it's like an online community thing. Let's let's just profiles not connected to world of trucks to be able to receive delivery contracts edit your profile to connect it to world of trucks okay uh oh okay we got to put stuff in here to do that all right you know what we'll look at that i'll, I'll look at that later i'll look at that later let's let's just get get a job we got to get a job going here um all right so we're gonna go to uh, job market and we're gonna go to freight market okay so now now we're looking at nine thousand dollars seven thousand dollar you know types of payments instead of the two thousand stuff that we were looking at earlier so that because we have our own truck now very cool okay so uh, what yeah we're already 20 minutes into this episode goodness gracious okay so we need to do something relatively short just because i don't want to do a super long episode here uh, so this will take us to barstow um, that's a four hour. That's going to be a, a little lengthy, but wow, 9,000 bucks. So that's pretty good. That's a six hour one. Goodness gracious. Okay. That's a four hour, 34, three hour and 52 minutes for 7,000. This is Vegas to Flagstaff. And that's the trailer we'll ha we're hauling. 41,000 pounds. This is plows to El Centro. Oh, wow. That's five hours. Okay. I think the further to the right we get, the cheaper it gets. So this one's going to pay us the most. It's four hours and 33 minutes. We have a frack tank, and it's pretty light. It's only 8200 bucks. Yeah, why don't we do this one? And I might do a little bit of editing in the video just so that it, so it's not super long. But I think we'll do this one. Okay, here we go. Our very first job, ladies and gentlemen, with our own truck. Fantastic, man. Fantastic. Okay. So we have to drive to the location. And, okay. All right. Let's head on out in our new Freightliner truck. This is fantastic, man. It's pretty basic, but it's brand new, and it's ours. Well, actually, no, it's the bank's. <laughs> we only own a very small portion of this truck at this point in time. Okay, let's take a look at our map here. So we need to go pick up the, um, the trailer. Okay. Reset navigation. Let's go to, okay, hold on a sec. What does this do? Oh, that's the legend. All right, how do I find out if we go? Parking brake. Let's go to F6. Currently you have no delivery job. Next rest stop. Wait, didn't we, did we not take that job? No, it says current job 6482. I'm confused. Let's go back into here for a second. How do I find information out about the jobs that I currently have? So we have job market. World map, quick travel, email. Progress, skills, truck dealers, vehicle adjustments, diagnostics. I don't know what I did wrong. Apparently, I screwed something up. This is the job we're supposed to have. Okay, take job. I thought I did that, but maybe I didn't. Okay. So, Oxnard to Barstow. Oh, okay. So, it, it teleported us here. I thought we had to drive to pick up the trailer when we had our own truck. We're already here. 
All right. Well, I guess I don't fully understand how things work yet then. <laughs> no surprise there. No, 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 no. This isn't our truck. Hold on. What the heck's going on here? I did a quick job, didn't I? Dad, come it. We wanted this one. All right. I just screwed up. Doggone it. Um. Do we still have that other job, though, too, then? I'm, like, really confused. External contracts. What's this do? Profile's not going to... Oh, yeah, that's the one we need, the world thingamadoodle. Freight market. Progress history. Okay, I, d I don't know how I'm supposed to find... Quick job is in. Okay, this is a the quick job I just took. If I cancel it, does that screw up my rating? The 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 thing is is um. If I do in fact also have that other job active, you know there is a time limit on those things. I just don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm I'm so confused. Okay. I don't know what the actual implication is of abandoning a job. It probably screws up my, it, you know, I probably take a hit on my XP maybe. Well, all right. You know what? Let's just do this one then. That sucks. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Let's take a look at our GPS situation here. So it looks like we need to pull out of here and go left. All right, well, dead gummit. I wanted to drive my own truck on our first job. Guess what we'll do is we'll just bang this one out. I might not show everything because I want to get back into my own truck and see if that other job, you know, that we took is still active and what the deal is with that. All right, so we're turning left here. Look at all the traffic.
All right, guys, we are at our destination here. I think... Haven't we been here before? It looks familiar. <clears throat> All right, so we'll take this one here. Yeah, I think we have to pull over there and then back in there. I don't think this one's too terribly difficult if it's the one I think it is. really dark all of a sudden. Okay, it's probably going to take a couple of adjustments for us to get the trailer straightened up all the way. Stop and take a look outside. Yeah, we're good. Um, let's just keep it cranking around. And start to straighten it out here. Okay. This way. It's really hard to see because there's not a lot of lights going on. Close. Probably get it this time. We go. Okay. Let's put the parking brake on and turn the engine off. Now, if I press T, it didn't. It didn't make me get out and unhook it. So, what were all those advanced? Oh, maybe I. Maybe I have to do that on my own trailer. Uh, okay, so maybe it doesn't work for quick missions. All right, well, anyway, we earned ourselves um, 7000 bucks. We got a proficiency bonus of $66. And, uh, yeah, not bad. And we got another point, too. So I think we'll just keep putting points into long distance for now. And uh, let's, uh, let's pause the radio for a second here. Now, where does that put us then in terms of, did we still take that other job? I'm not, or, or did I somehow inadvertently cancel that job? I really, I just, I'm a little confused. There's got to be a place that shows current jobs, right? Um, if we go back into job market and go back to freight thingies, see that job is, oh, wow, 11,000 bucks. It's a seven hour trip though. Um, 
And it's from here to Phoenix. So, but our trailer, okay, so here, ah, all right. So we are here back in Vegas in our garage, I believe. And we'd have to drive to Barstow to get the trailer and then drive it to Arizona. But look at the money on that thing. Wow. Um, in both cases here, we got to get to Barstow. That was a $10,000 one. Um, and that's a six hour and 27. This one would be maybe a little bit easier to do just because, uh, you know, we don't have a, a normal truck there or a trailer there. So we can, we'd have a better visibility. That's 37,000 pounds. And we actually have, this is still available for 14 hours. We are going to need to think about sleeping. So I guess I, I must have taken that other job and I must have inadvertently canceled it, not meaning to do so, because I just don't see any other place, right, where we would have um, done that. We can't really take this job because I think we need to sleep. Yeah. But this one will still be available even after we sleep. Okay, so so what do we do now? Do we go? This is our wait. Is this our truck? Yeah, that's our truck. Okay, why is it why is it it not in our trashy garage? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand how this game works. Oh man, we'll figure it out though. Okay, so I think what we have to do is it's it's ten twenty p.m. Um. If we just go to drive, does that just put us in our truck in Barstow? All right. So we're back in our truck. And we are... Oh, no, we're back in Vegas. Okay. We are back in Vegas. So can I sleep here at our garage? Or do I have to go to an actual place where we can sleep? And it looks like there's a bunch of beds just right down the street from us. You'd think I'd be able to sleep in my own garage, but maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm still too new to this game to know how all that stuff works. So I guess this background is just the menu background. It's not representative of where we're actually at okay so that's our progress skills email bank progress history vehicle adjustments recruitment manager we haven't found any recruitment agencies yet okay well i think what we're gonna have to do is find a place to sleep so let's get that done first and out of the way the game doesn't make us eat or drink it'd be kind of cool if it did you know you like you have to stop at the truck stop and get a, a meal kind of thing maybe there's even a mod for that i don't know let's get our lights on and let's look at the map again for a second so yeah there is apparently just right across the street from us a uh, motel or something, I guess. Well, it kind of it kind of bites that we didn't do our that last job in our our new truck, but we made pretty decent money off of it, so can't complain about that, right? Yeah, you know what? Actually, I want to try something. Let's cool. Let's pull back into our garage for a second. If we go back into the little green indicator thingamadoodle, will that give us an option to sleep? It might. It might not do that because we don't have a sleeper cap. So that gives us the thing to manage the garage.
but I don't see an option to to sleep here. Okay. Well, uh, then I guess we'll drive over to these uh, places with the beds. Got to get used to this truck because we're going to be in it for a while now. Don't see anybody coming there. Yeah, it looks like that's a truck stop. Anyway. Actually, let's pull in over here. Oh, we're stopped. <laughs> <laughs> so I did we just pull like into one of these truck parking spots to sleep is that how that works use the following key to stop the engine okay well let's pull forward a little more first here oh yeah okay use the following key to rest Turn our lights off. All right, let's go to sleep. We'll have to assume that we also went into the truck stop and got ourselves a meal and stuff like that too, right? Okay, we are. Uh, we have a full fuel tank and we're fully rested. And now it's time to take a job and this time not screw it up. So we want to go back to freight market. And so we got a twenty-three. Wow, twenty-three thousand dollar job. Woo wee. And that's for a fertilizer for 36,000. See, the thing is, I don't know. I don't know how much weight my truck can can do. I mean, that doesn't seem to be excessively heavy. We'd have to drive to Prim, Nevada to get the trailer and then take it to Sacramento. But look at the money, man. And 38,000, or 38,000, <laughs> I wish, $38.70 per mile, too. Um, and that's a 12 hour trip. Yowzers. Okay. So, you know, we have to take that into account. I mean, that's a lot of money, but it's also a 12 hour trip, right? So that's a, a load of potatoes. This is some paint. This is plows. That's a tandem trailer, man. I, I'm, I hope the game doesn't require you to back up tandem trailers because that's just not going to happen. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do that. Uh, yeah, I, I try and do that in the farming uh, farming simulator, and I'm just it's it's too hard. Ooh, that would take us to the Grand Canyon uh, from Barstow. If we take something from Vegas, we're already here, right? So we don't have to travel empty for a long ways. Can we search? Uh, Origin. So what does that do? Does that put everything in alphabetical order, the origins? It looks like it. Okay, so what? So, okay, so here's Las Vegas. So this is a waste paper job. Oh, man, that doesn't sell, give us much. It's only three hours, though. Yeah, that one's not a whole lot of money. Vegas to Elko. Okay, here's a ten thousand one to Elko, Nevada, but it's a tandem. I don't. I mean, I don't mind doing a tandem as long as I don't have to freaking <laughs> back the thing up. Um, what does that mean? Oh, I think that means tandem. Yeah, articulated trailer. Right. Okay. And that would that that would take eight hours. That's an eight hour for nine thousand bucks. Um, 
Okay, these are all really low pain, but probably quick ones. Okay, here's a Vegas to Oxnard for 11. It's a single trailer. And this is a Vegas to San Francisco for 14. That's an 11 hour trip. That's a seven hour trip. Oh, wait, what's this one here? Okay, that's it for Vegas. So the most, the most money we would make leaving from Vegas would either be this one here, office supplies to San Francisco, plus it would open up some more territory for us. I think that's really probably the best one. That, or maybe this one to Gallup, New Mexico. That's a seven hour for 9,000, but it's a tandem. Yeah, I think we should do, let's do this one uh, to San Francisco. So $14,000, it's gonna take us 11 hours to do, um, which means we're gonna to have to, probably means we're gonna to have to sleep partway there. But we'll make 14 grand off the deal, 24.18 per mile. If we go back to price per distance, get all the way back here. Uh, price per distance. <clears throat> yeah, that's the one. Oh, is that a, what is that? Oh, it's a frack tank. And it's only 8,000 pounds. It's really light. We'd make 42.10 a mile and $9,000, and it's only four hours. But we have to travel to Oxnard first to get it. That's the thing. All right. What about this one? This it, this is a load of toys. It's 29,000 pounds. We get 11,000 and we get 30. And it starts from Vegas. And it's going to take, but it's going to take seven hours to do. Okay, let's go back to just straight up price. That's the 12 hour one. Takes us to Sacramento, but we have to drive to Prim first to get it. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a little scatterbrained here, guys, but I'm just trying to figure out the best course of action here. I think we should take something that starts in Vegas because that's where we are. I just don't want to do a dry run somewhere else to pick up a trailer. If it, if it wasn't super far, I wouldn't worry about it. But you know, since it is, right? Okay, so what's our best paying job from Vegas to somewhere else? Okay, this one goes to Elko, Nevada for 10000 It's a tandem trailer. This one, uh, where was the one that went to Vegas to Sac or San Francisco? Oxnard, Phoenix, this one. All right. That's 11 hours and 39 minutes. We're going to make $14,000, and we're going to uncover new territory. And that's going to be a one heck of a long haul, though. <sighs> 24, 18 per mile. But, again, we're going, to, we're going to discover and open up new territory, so that's another reason why this one kind of appeals to me. So I think what we'll do is we'll take this one, we'll set this as GPS destination, and... We now should be able to go get the trailer, which is just right over here at this wall, Wahlberg thingy, whatever, Walbert thingy, and then we can be on our way. Okay. Yeah, and I understand that the price per mile, you know, is probably the more economical one. I guess what we could have done is looked at price per mile starting from Vegas. Maybe we should have done that, but... We've already taken this one, so it's too late now. We'll figure it out. I'll get better as time goes on. Um, okay, so let's turn those lights on. All right. Now we want to be here. Let 
me look at the map again for a second. Yeah, we just need to turn left. Okay, and go left and then down the road. Okay, let's do this. Now, we're going to have to watch both our, our sleep and our fuel level because we're in, our, we're in our own vehicle now. Oh, I'm not supposed to go out this way, am I? And so all of that stuff is our responsibility now. That's the trade-off. I need to do double shifting here. Uh, that where we're supposed to go? No. There's a green thing over, but that's not where we go. Okay. Tell if anyone's coming. Yeah, there's that car there. Okay. King of Las Vegas. Okay, we're turning in here. too far. Okay, I guess we have to stop here first so it shows us where the trailer is. Job type selection. Why did that just pop up? Okay, hold on a sec. Uh, press the following key to view the job offer. The freight market. Oh, so we. I guess we didn't actually take the job. We, it just, we told it to take us there. Oh, okay. All right. So let's take the job. Trailer's ready to proceed to loading area. Head towards the green flag on your map. Green flag on the map. Uh, right over here. Okay. Well, it looks like it's that trailer right there. Okay, cool. Okay, let's get in reverse here. Oh no, that trailer. Oh, uh, okay. 
then I want to go over here and then kind of cut it this way. We're not going to hit that lamp post, are we? Press falling key to finish trailer coupling. Well, it still doesn't let me get out and do it myself, so okay. Whatevs. Stop. Don't crash into the thingy. Alright, we got our load, you guys. Yeah, make sure we don't clip that trailer on the way out. Okay, well, um, I think we're going to have to wrap up this episode here, unfortunately. Um, but we will pick up right where we left off in the next episode. So I think if I go here, I can save the game. And just say, we'll call it um, save one, I guess. Okay. There we go. And so we will pick up right from this spot. Uh, in the next episode and go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.